Hey everybody, thought I would give you a quick tour around the head box of a vintage Gottlieb Solar City um, pinball machine. This is an electromechanical machine. Um, it's a two player and it's basically the same play field layout as El Dorado, which is a pretty good one player game. So here is the credit unit. So when you put quarters in, it pulls this solenoid here, which adds credits. And when you hit the start button, it hits this, which deducts credits. And there's a score reel or a reel on it, which tells you how many credits are in the machine. And there's a, a switch stack over here that limit how far it can rotate, so how many credits the machine can have on it. And it also has a switch in that stack that tells the rest of the logic in the bottom of the play field that there are credits on it and that you can play it. So um, if you ever want to make a machine free play, you can just bend that switch in there. You can find that in the schematic. Um, this particular one I had to go through and clean up all this ratcheting uh, mechanism because I'm going to put it out on location and it wasn't. It was deducting all the credits because it was getting stuck when one of these solenoids fired. Um, this guy up here is a kind of cool little unit. This rotates around, has a couple solenoids to reset it and to rotate this little phenolic board back and forth across these brass rivets that are soldered to these wires. And there's these little spring-loaded contacts that make contact here. What this does is it switches between the different players. It turns some lights on and off, which um, indicate which players up and it activates the score reel banks. So these are banks of score reels. So you probably won't see it very well, but there's numbers on there. And these guys can be kind of problematic, but they have a, a solenoid that indexes them. And the logic from the relays down the bottom pull on these different solenoids to index by certain values. Um, there's also some relays up here that do things like flip-flop different features on the play field back and forth. I kind of like this how you can pull these little pins out and you can drop these these relays and work on them. Uh, this particular one um, toggles between different fe features on the play field so each time you hit a pop bumper or something it fires this this solenoid here, this relay, and it indexes this wheel around and it encodes on these printed circuit boards um, different features that will be activated on the play field. All right, anyway, that's the, the basics of uh, what's in a two-player um, pinball machine. I think this is kind of cool, too. You can flip this lever and, and drop the, the backboard down, and there's the back glass. Alright guys, see you later.